Welcome viewers. YouTuber accuses Mr. Beast of using child labor in the production of Feastables chocolate. Nevertheless, please take a minute to hit the subscribe button and flip on notification bell for greater updates and watch this video until the end. YouTuber honestly has filed allegations against YouTube star Jimmy Mr. Beast regarding the use of child labor. In his YouTube video, titled Mr. Beast is still hiding more. It's really bad, the YouTuber claimed that Mr. Beast had been using child labor to produce his Feastables chocolate since the end of 2023 and that Mr. Beast she knew she would use the child. Labor and forced labor for his chocolate since his conception. This is another addition to the plethora of allegations made against Mr. Beast by various sources, including former Dogpack 404 employee and YouTuber Rosanna Pansino. To give context to his claims, honestly said that the practice of using child labor has been widespread in Peru, the country of origin of the cocoa beans used for Feastables, for a significant period of time of time other famous brands, such as Nestle, Mars and Hershey, have also been involved in lawsuits for this alleged labor abuse. Honestly stated that the Mr. Beast Feastables website stated that it was child labor free and slave labor free on its frequently asked questions FAQ page at the time of its launch in January 2022. April 2023, a page dedicated to his free production slave was also present on the website. However, from October 2023, these mentions have been removed entirely. Since then, there has been no mention of ethically sourced ingredients on the website. He said Mr. Beast's legal and marketing team should have been aware of the endorsements, as talking about ethical sourcing on its website could do brand favors for chocolate consumers. Honestly also stated that Mr. Beast did not put the Rainforest Alliance certification directly on the packaging, but instead listed the certification on its website in 2022, which was later removed. He stated that Mr. Beast did this because he knew that this packaging would eventually have to be changed, thus suspecting. The only conclusion I can think of is that Mr. Beast knew. I knew that one day they would get rid of this certificate. You see, if one day that package has a frog logo on it and the next day it's gone, people are going to notice. Despite the accusations against him, Mr. Beast recently released a new video showing Mac Hopkins surviving seven days while trapped in a cave. YouTuber honestly claims Mr. Beast is using child labor for his Feastables chocolate brand. I think Mr. Beast uses child labor to fund his empire and he tried to cover it up. Link to full video. This is a departure from my chair reviews, but it's something I've come across and I think people should know what they're getting into. Unfortunately, this did little to appease his angry fan base, with many speculating that Mr. Beast knew about this misconduct and did nothing, despite it being just an unfounded rumor. The whole situation echoes a notable time last month when popular Twitch streamer Dr. Disrespect communicated inappropriately with minors. Like Ava Chris Tyson, Dr. Disrespect lost her fan base and her ties with a number of companies were cut after the news. So, for the foreseeable future, Ava will no longer be a part of the Mr. Beast company, and it seems that this will be a permanent decision by Mr. Beast himself. YouTube superstar and philanthropist Mr. Beast is going live after a new $500,000 challenge that feels like torture. Almost everyone who uses the internet regularly knows Jimmy Donaldson, aka Mr. Beast. The influencer has been responsible for some of the craziest stunts on YouTube, which has pushed the content creator to become one of the most successful contributors on the platform. Their projects range from challenge videos for big prizes, often a large amount of money, to charity donations and even a little vlog content thrown in for good measure. Recently, Mr. Beast shared his plans for his next challenge and fans think it might be a step too far. In a recent tweet, the content creator shared an image of a large white slash gray room and asked his fans, would you spend 100 days in this room with a random string?